Welcome back everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed that first video part one where we got the pony We trade them for the goats and then we set up that door on the corral Well, if you enjoyed that one today is about setting up their actual little shed pen, whatever you want to call it um, The mini Cebu and the pony they have to have a place to stay right it has to be warm because the winter's coming up We want to have them close by that way we can actually halter break them So that's what we'll be doing today. If you guys didn't get to see the first video, I'll Put it up here and also be in the link below make sure you watch that first and now if you here learn how to set up a little corral pen for your animals well then let's get started all right so the idea here is we're gonna be putting a two by four coming off this rafter right here and it's gonna come off to our 4x4 four four right here we actually put a little angle to it uh, I only cut that because I want to have a slope you might not be able to see it from the camera but basically I want to have a slope from there to that one in order to do so I had to bring it just slightly bit lower 2x4 four, four is going to go here we're going to cut that right off Now with the board up, now you can really tell that we have a little bit of an angle. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna be doing the next hole. Measure 10 by 10, found the corner post, as we're gonna put our four by four in there. All right, so we got our beam on the right side. We got our beam on the left side. Honestly, it's whatever wood you can find. Like this one is a uh, two by six. That one's a two by four, but they would both do. So what we did, we used a hanger. I know that's also a two by four hanger instead of two by six. That's what I had laying around. Used another hanger on this side. That one's actually a two by four hanger. And now, remember the tricky part is first put your, put your post in place and then we just Right now, we have one nail on that rafter. It really isn't put in place. It's, we want to make sure we have it level to the other side. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that next. All right, so first we're going to measure from here to here. That way we know what length our front board is going to be. On the outside of the 4x4, four four, we got 127. So we're going to cut our beam 127th in length. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and nail this side right here. This is what's gonna tell you if we're actually level on that side and know exactly how to cut that post. So we set up our level on it. Level get the bajo. Bajo. All right, that looks about right. So now I can nail it on that side. All right, so you see, that's why we use the level and that's why I didn't hammer this all the way in because I actually have to bring this board down just the slightest bit to meet up to this it's optional here if you actually want to notch this out and set it on there uh, myself I actually do like to do that so I'm gonna cut it here and I'm gonna notch it and actually lay it on top of this 4x4 here
and just like that we got a nice little shed set up we're still gonna do a little wall on that side and we're gonna put a few more boards up on this side that way it can protect it from the wind from both sides and i'm thinking right here in front we're also probably gonna put another uh board up against it that way we kind of block wind from all directions and all they will have is one little opening where they can go in and out and the good thing is that we got that round bell of hay right there that communicates both to this side of the corral for the uh, mini Cebu and the pony and that side of the corral for where we're going to keep the goats and the cows uh, throughout the winter for now. So let me help them out with that wall. I'm going to show you real quick how we're going to set it up. It's quick and easy and it's very simple to set up a, a nice little wall. So all we're going to do is we're going to put a 2x4 buried in there and it's going to come meet up to this main beam. We're going to nail onto there. That way from here to that 2x4 is going to go a piece of board and then from this 2x4 we're going to put another 2x4 nailed up against this wall and then you can also put one big board up against the left side and here we're going to find probably about midway put another 2x4 here going upward and then same thing all you got to do is put a board that comes all the way across and that pretty much covers them up on this side we're still a little bit undecisive so we're going to finish up the left side and then we'll see what happens to this side in just a few minutes. And just like that, we finished another shed. That one wasn't too bad. Honestly, that one was way cheaper than the goat pen that we built, uh, simply because we use that compressed wood. That stuff right there is very cheap. I actually got it from a uh, pallet, an old pallet that I found. Um, somebody gave it to me and I took it apart and I ended up using some of those boards up against there. Like I said, sometimes if you can save a dollar here and there, do so. Um, as long as you keep a little bit of wind and water away from your animals, that's what really matters guys. So I know it's not no uh, Pinterest worthy kind of shed, but it's easy, it's inexpensive, and it's going to do its job for the little pony and the mini Cebu. And sorry, kids over here riding the truck. But like always guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it brought a little bit of value to you. If you got any kind of animals that you want to uh, take care of, look for any kind of pallets that you may find laying around um 
always on Facebook Market, you find people giving away pallets for free or giving them very, very cheap. Um, you can just set up a few 4x4s. You can set up 2x4s. The bo uh, boards that we use like that. And then on that side, like you noticed, all we put was that uh, leftover metal roof on it. So we kind of scrapped it, everything together, put it all, patched it up. But it's still going to do really great for that mini Cebu and that pony. So now I just got to get him over here and hopefully he likes it as well. With a little bit of wheat straw, I'm sure he's going to do just fine in the wintertime. Alright guys, till next time, get out there and have fun.